You know, this is a PDP matter. I really don't want to talk about it. I have my I, I lead the Zenith Labour Party, and this is a PDP matter. But you see, since you are insisting, it's pain me that the governors in the southeast are condemning or rejected the nomination of their son as a running mate to one of the presidential aspirants, one of the presidential candidates. That is the PDP. It is very unfortunate. They are not the leaders in Ibo land. They are part of the leadership. And they should understand the difference. It's not because immediately you become a governor, you become a leader. We have leadership in Ibo land. The only part of the leadership. And if a meeting is to be summoned for that purpose, it will be summoned by the governors. And I want to make it clear again that Southeast does not belong to PDP alone. The Labour Party may nominate a candidate for another position from Southeast, from South to a different parts of the country. But the way they are related to themselves, as if they are to decide, particularly Governor Mahi. Who is Governor Mahi to speak on behalf of the Igbo nation? Who is he? Because he's governor. Who is Governor Mahi? Let him pull out his CV, put it side by side with that of His Excellency Peter Obi. His own will be far back. I have told you it's a problem of PDP, but I'm talking about Peter Obi now as a citizen from Igbo land and the activities of the governors. I'm not talking that I'm confirming or supporting a ticket, as I told you. I lead a party, I have a presidential candidate, Governor Luce Gumimiko. But it is very unfortunate and shameful, disgraceful, that they will gang up and be opening their mouth to say that kind of a thing. Who are they? Governor Mahi, you talked about, has said with his word of mouth that he will ensure that President Mohamed Buhari gets a second tenor. Is he the rightful, fit and proper person? to talk on behalf of Bibos. These are people who are confused with President Buhari. For two years, I've been talking, suggesting certain things to the president. That yes, you have shown hatred to the Igbo people. They also have the right to give you back hatred. People like Umahi will go and speak. Let him see what will happen in that state during this election. Of course, there is no time anymore to make amends. It's people like Umahi that have misled President Muhammad Buhari in his relationship with the Igbo nation. Somebody who has said, I will make sure he wins. And now he's talking and quarreling with the vice presidential candidate of his party. He's acting more like a paid hireling. He's not a fit and proper person to talk about it. If it was said by Igbazu or Uguani, then it will give me, it will give me some succor. Can Governor Mahi, in all honesty, look up to heaven and say he's 100% PDP? He's not. So anything he talked about PDP, about the contest by candidates who will be working against his own candidate for 2019, is mere blasphemous. It's only being, being hypocritical. So Governor Mahi is not in any position to speak on behalf of Debos. They are not the leaders of Debos. They are merely part and parcel of that leadership. Because when they go, new leaders will, will come to be part and parcel of the leadership. I mentioned names. Where is Ezefe? Where is Ike Wachiku? Where are the others? Where are our traditional, revived traditional rulers? Because they are a governor, you become a leader speaking on behalf of us. Anyway, that's a PDP matter. But I decided to correct this to say that they cannot impugn or question the qualification of Governor Peter Obi even for the president of Nigeria, because they don't have his credentials. Even some of them that have been speaking from the Southeast have questionable and dubious certificates. Before you start talking, make sure you have a good certificate. Not when you are challenged now, you go and call 20 certain advocates of Nigeria. And look at the axis from where, the camp where this campaign is coming from. 
That is the same axis in Igbo land that we always have problems. People pull him down. People will spend two, three, four billion in an election they were not interested in just to stop the person from going. And after that person has lost, he'll be happy. What character of human beings are? are were this book created by God? They should stop this nonsense. They should stop it. In this dispensation of 2019, this coming, we are going to work. And that's why we looked at a candidate like Governor Lucia Mimico, who has worked. He will be facing Atiku. He will be facing others. But I'm very sure that the parties may come together and work. We are going to work. We are not going to have people appointed by Godfathers. So that they can be taking royalty. They can be taking part of the national wealth. All this complaints is because how can somebody be a vice presidential candidate without us? That means we can't get anything. That means you will not listen to us. Let them go and look at the antecedent of the man they are talking about. If it was not Peter, I would not speak. I'm talking about him as a person, not as a vice presidential candidate to governor, president, vice president Chiku Abubakar. That's why I'm speaking. Yeah, go, go to Anambra, go to Enugu, go to that axis and see the reaction of the people. They are not reacting because they have picked Pitobi. They are reacting because somebody strong has emerged to challenge the president. That's the reaction. If it was not Pitobi, that's the jubilation. In fact, before Pitobi was uh, handpicked, chosen by the vice president, there was, there, there, was, there was jubilation all over the country, particularly in the southeast. That means there is something that the Southeast suffers, that they were praying for somebody strong to come on board for them to exercise their franchise. And immediately what they thought that thing came, as many others will come, they jubilated. So it's not whether it will affect it, it will not affect anything, it will amount to nothing. Governor Mahi should apologize to Ibo Nation. He, in this 2019 election, He's not for the interest of the Igbo people. He has already said it with his word of mouth. The Igbos are not going to go for President Buhari. I started since 2016 to sound it for President Buhari to make amends. And that if he was unable to make amends in the second quarter of 2017, 2018, that it will be all over. And that's where we are now. It's people like Umahia, the Umahi that has been deceiving the president. That has been telling him lies on the status of the Igbo man vis-a-vis -vis his presidency. So, as you dress your bed, you lie on it. So, you should apologize to the Igbo people. It's not the rightful person to talk to us on 2019.